السلام عليكم how are you my friends this is the first video for lecture number 8 which is a part of the materials after the material in this video I will explain the concept of level and it's important also the method of measuring the levels and the formula used for measuring the levels Let's start our videos. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم وبعد. Level measurement. It is very important parameters used in the industry. We talk previously before the midterm about the pressure measurement and we mention it is very important parameters. We remember that pressure is defined as the force applied in unit of area. And we know that there is different types of pressure readings. Absolute pressure, gauge pressure, and so on and so on. We talk also about, we talk about the hydrostatic pressure. And when we can calculate it. Also, there are also formulas for Pascal laws and also for bouncy force now in the level measurement maybe we need these formulas okay let us first define the, the level measurement level measurement is measuring the amount of material inside a container either fissure or tank or silo rectifier whatever in terms of height sometimes we can say in terms of depth of the liquid or not liquid the material inside the tanks we can measure the level of a liquid the level of gas the level even though the next of them also not that the level of solid free flow solid material like crystal dry powder grains and so on the importance of the level here it can be utilized in estimating the volume for the material inside the vessel. Based on that, I can decide what will be the capacity that will cover my requirement or my demand. Example, if I have a tank of irrigation water, if I have a lax in knowing the volume of water inside that this tank I cannot decide is it enough to irrigate all these trees or this plant in my farms or my streets or my gardens whatever also if you have the tanks used for emergency for example firefighting and if this tank is not enough, it will cause it will cause a problems for me during the emergency cases. Now we know that it is important to measure the level inside the containers. Okay, in order to know the level inside the container, there is two type of measurement of measurement. Either single point level measurement or continuous level measurement. Continuous level measurement that means measuring the level at any point. You can say continuously measuring the level continuously. That means there are variations of variables of portions between zero and hundred, infinity variations infinity points between zero level and a hundred percentage level this is the continuous for single points level measurement that means i will measure the level at a specific points at what a specific points that means i will choose certain points for example if i want to measure the level as single points 
maybe I can choose the minimum value for level and the maximum, that's all. I don't care how much between them is not important. Maybe sometimes I'm caring about if it reached to 25%, I will put some sensor there to indicate me, to indicate for me there is a level reach 25%. But if it exceeds more than 25, I don't know how much. Maybe 50, maybe 70, I don't know. But the important thing is for me, I want to know does it reach 25% and above? This is the information that I need. This is the single point level measurement. Now, either though you want to measure it continuously or single point measurement, the method for finding this level measurement also, we can categorize it in two things. Direct method or indirect method. Direct method, that means measuring the level immediately through the sensor. And you don't need to use another parameters. For example, you don't need to use the differential pressure or use the bouncy force or use the radiation waves. No need. Just immediately the level will come directly from the sensor measurements. Indirect method, that means I will utilize another parameters and by using another functions to calculate the measurement of this level. So, this is the method for measuring the level inside the vessels. We will stop here and we will continue for the next video. Thank you for watching this video and follow my next video which is talking about the formulas used in measuring the level. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.